So far, we have been running several Flink applications directly and serve RDEA uh, and, and locally. This is a very development-friendly approach. But usually, we need to submit the Flink application job uh, to the Flink cluster for running. In this lecture, I will show you how to submit the Flink jobs and uh, a Flink job manager web UI and the console command. All right. First, we have to package our application into a single archive package, executing the Maven package command. Okay. The, the package are done. And now we need to open the web browser and uh, click the submit new job at here and a new. Um, we can switch to the target directory at here. Uh, choose this one. <clears throat> okay, click into um, our entry class the name is uh, package name and the class name. Actually, this is a fully class name, right? And the parallelism we can uh, fulfill too. And the program arguments we keep empty and the same point keep empty. Uh, we can submit. But before submit the Flink application, we need to make sure we, uh, we are open the TCP Listener point uh, seven or oh, four five six seven and the uh, Hadoop one five one. So, right, submit. As you can see, the Flink application is submitted. Right, this is a job graph, data flow graph, um, source, transformation, and the think. <clears throat> okay. Um, and also we can check the except, uh, exceptions, timeline and chain points, configurations, uh, all this concept I will introduce in, in the uh, future lectures. Now we just uh, uh, input or type some um, text, uh, uh, test the text file, uh, lines and here. Hello, Flink, hello, Java. All right. And how to verify the output and the Flink cluster, uh, we can click uh, the 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 last uh, um, the, the the last processor at here, and uh, click the task manager at here. Uh, and here we can see the view task manager looks. Okay, and uh, click the uh, stand output at here. As you can see, the computation result uh, will appear. The Flink one, hello one, hello two, it's a, it's a media, uh, intermediate result, right? And the um, Java one, okay. This is the first approach to uh, submit the Flink job to a Flink cluster. And the, another approach uh, is, uh, is a common approach, submit the Flink job by the console command. Okay, let me show you how to do that. First, we need to upload our archive package uh, to the Hadoop server, uh, Hadoop 151 server. That is the job manager um, uh, running server. Okay. And then we need to um, cancel or stop the uh, previously submitted Flink job at here. Cancel the job. Yes. Okay, the job is canceled. Now, let me open the uh, the Putty uh, console. I uh, switch into the uh, Flink uh, current uh, pass work pass. <clears throat> okay. As you can see, the the archive package is uh, uploaded uploaded and here. We just to uh, uh, execute the command. 
pay Flink and uh, use the run command uh, detach model and uh, uh, specify the job manager um, job manager address and port. I don't put one five one and the a point is uh, eight zero eight one. It is the same with the uh, job manager web UI. Okay. And then we need to specify um, specify the um, entry point class fully a pass at here. I can use the copy. A copy pass or reference selects the last one. All right. Okay. Uh, and specify the parallelism use the P uh, options. Okay. And uh, specify the uh, archive package. Um, Udemy. Okay, Flink Learning, Ja, execution this command. As you can see, the job is successfully submitted and uh, the job ID is this one, okay. We can, uh, we can open the um, job, web UI, uh, job manager web UI and click the running job. Uh, this job, a Flink job is submitted by the console command, right. So we can type some test data at here. Hello, Flink. Hello, Spark. Uh, how to how to check and verify the output? Did you remember that? Okay, click the last uh, uh, operator and and uh, click the task managers and uh, click the view task manager log and click the click the stand output at here. Hello one, Flink one, hello two, Spark is one. Okay, it's pretty easy, right? And now if we wanted to cancel or uh, terminal the running job, so how to do that? We can use the bin Flink command and uh, use the cancel um, options and specify the job, uh, job ID at here, execution. As you can see, the job is successfully canceled. Uh, we can check as the job manager web UI. Uh, the running job, okay, nothing is running and completed the job, as you can see, uh, canceled. The first one canceled by the web UI. The second is canceled by the console command, right. Okay, see you next lecture.